This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Monday, November 23rd, 2015. Euro dollar. So the euro remains under pressure with the market now focused on a retest of that multi-year base from March at 104.62. The latest breakdown below 107 has accelerated declines and the market should be testing this 104.62 level in the sessions ahead. At this point, look for any rallies to continue to be very well capped by some previous support now turn resistance in the 108 area while it's Ultimately, only back above 110 would really compromise the immediate bearish outlook. Sterling dollar. So cable has been putting in a series of lower tops and lower lows since posting that 2015 peak at 159.30. And the market looks like it could be posting that next lower top by 153.36 ahead of the next major downside extension below recent lows and towards the 2015 low at 145.66 further down. At this point, only a break back above 155.10 would compromise the immediate bearish outlook. Dollar yen. So dollar yen has been confined to some choppy trade in recent sessions, and the market is trying to figure out whether it wants to continue its longer term uptrend beyond the recent 78.6 fib retracements off of the 2015 high to August low, or if it wants to break down below recent support at 122.20 and then head back lower towards the 116 area. At this point, we need to focus on those two levels for clearer directional insight, and until a break above the 123.75 area or back below 122.20, the market should continue to chop around. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has been confined to some consolidation over the past several weeks, though the recovery structure since earlier this year remains intact, and the market should eventually trade above 110.50 and towards 112 further up. At this point, only back below 107.14 would compromise the recovery outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has seen a bit of a recovery in recent sessions and the market has been confined to more or less some consolidation over the past several weeks. But overall the downtrend remains firmly intact here and the market is expected to trade lower back towards the multi-year lows at 69.08 going back to the month of uh, September, early September and only back above 73.82 at this point would compromise the bearish outlook. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD looks poised for a break to fresh uh, highs beyond that 11 year high from September at 134.57, with the market trading within a highly constructive uptrend and focused on a potential move towards 140 in the coming weeks. At this point, any setback should be very well supported into the 130 area, while ultimately only back below 128 would compromise the constructive outlook for Dollar CAD. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi looks to be carving out the next medium term lower top after stalling out ahead of 70 in the 69 area and the market is now focused on trading lower back down towards that August base in the 62 area and potentially into the 50s over the coming weeks. At this point only back above 69 would compromise the immediate bearish outlook for Kiwi. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 has been trading up to recent record highs with the market recently stalling out just shy of 2137, the record high from May at 2117. And now we have to see if the market wants to establish back above 2117 and head back towards the May record high and fresh record highs from there, or if the market stalls out ahead of 2117 in favor of a resumption of declines and a potential lower top. At this point, key levels to watch over the coming sessions come in by that 2117 high that we saw back on the 3rd of November. And below, you want to pay attention to the low from the 18th of November, which comes in around 2047. Gold. So gold remains under pressure with the market recently trading to fresh multi-year lows at 1065 and the market could be poised for fresh weakness down towards key psychological barriers at 1000. Look for a close below 1050 to confirm and accelerate declines while ultimately only back above 1100 would take the immediate pressure off the downside.